Let's start with Keir Starmer, who's clearly in the box seat now to get re-elected unless something extraordinary happens, which it might well do. Um, he's issued a woke warning, vowed to back woke charities that as he waded into the culture wars. Um, he's been on about this for a while, Kevin, saying he thinks this woke stuff is all culture war stuff. Your thoughts? Look, he's backed the National Trust and the RNLI, the lifeboat charity, two of the most trusted bodies in, in Britain. I think it's a no-brainer from him because most people think the cost of living, what's happening to the health service, public services, law and disorder, they're all more important issues. He said very little about this in the past. He's run away from it, but he's all of a sudden seen an opportunity because I think people are fed up with divisions and particularly attacks on... But look, they're all so the fed National up. Trust Esther, has got five million peer yeah, members. Esther, they're all so fed up with the woke nonsense. Well, yes, and I think the thing and is... And trying to categorise it all as kind of insignificant... Culture war. Culture yeah, exactly. war stuff. School, I think school does it a disservice as to what's been going on. Well, this is the thing. I think he shouldn't have said anything, actually, because he's, he's picking a battle he cannot win. And ultimately, this man has the luxury of believing that this is just culture war stuff. It doesn't really affect people. There is a reason why people are getting upset about this. There is a reason why when the leader of the opposition doesn't want to say what a woman is or can't define it, people get upset. If you don't want to talk about it or address it, fine. But don't effectively turn your nose up at people who take this important. Yes, the cost of living crisis is very important, but also so is kids' education. So is what... what by the way, yeah. so, so, is, so is fairness and equality in women's sport. And I'll bring Ava in here. Uh, the the NXXT Women's Classic uh, Mission in Resort in the United States. Uh, Haley Davidson has just managed to... <coughs> sorry, I've got the 100-day cough. Has managed to secure her spot on the prestigious Women's Epson Tour. It all sounds perfectly fine until you realise she's a biological male. Is that male, an Adam's apple? Right? And I want to play a clip from Caitlyn Jenner, who used to be Bruce Jenner, who won the Olympic gold decathlon and plays a lot of golf. This is what Caitlyn said to me about this. I play a lot of golf. Yeah. And at, at our club, I mean, I play with the women a lot. And by the way, Pierce, the women are a lot more fun to play with than the men, but the conversation's much better. But they always <laughs> ask, you know, say, hey, we've got a tournament coming up. Yeah, we've got a tournament coming up. You want to play with us? And, you know, when I'm there, I say, oh, well, that would be fun. But then I never show up. Why? Because it's just, honestly, it's, I don't, I would never want to take a trophy away from one of the other. I love the ladies at our club. They're wonderful. I wouldn't want to take... I can outdrive them by 100 yards. My arms are longer. I'm 6'1". So <laughs> I, it just wouldn't be fair. Wouldn't be fair. So why are we allowing it? Why aren't women screaming from the rooftops at this constant erosion of their rights in sport? I don't Which think... Keir Starmer would doubtless categorise as culture wars. I feel sorry for this, this golf player. Because why? Because I think that she's been put into a tricky uh, position where she is clearly excellent at the sport and that she has not been accommodated. So she's not able because to play in Because she has an unfair anything, physical advantage but of category. the kind Caitlyn Jenner but... just perfectly articulated. Here's a picture of this transgender golfer. Let's be a little bit careful about Caitlyn Jenner because... I guess Caitlyn... the second and third who were biological women. Let's be a bit careful because Caitlyn Jenner, I mean, as a big fan of Keeping Up With Kardashians, and I've oh, watched all of it, <laughs> she does have some ingrained misogyny, as we, we used to see with, with Bruce. And Actually, I she stands that. up for women's but rights more than many women. Look... I'm, look, I'm a big believer in women's rights, but I will agree with you on Are Keir Starmer. You? I will say, I will agree with you on Keir Starmer. So I, th this big speech today that he gave on culture war, I thought it was very fluffy. I thought it was a bit weak. It didn't really have any substance to it. If you were going to come out and condemn the culture war and say that you don't want to get involved in the war on woke, then you need to be strong in your conviction. Mm. And I don't think Keir Starmer has deci decided where he is on the trans discussion, no. where he is. Is he He's an ally? Is he not? Place. We don't know. And I think he realises Middle England is not having any of this, by the way, and doesn't view it as culture war. They see it as an actual attack on rights to fairness and equality. And do you not think that voters would like to see strength in conviction? So if he came out and he said, yeah. I am a trans ally, then you know where he stands. So but you know, yeah, but, but hang on. Yeah, but you, but you, you know, as I keep saying, yeah. you can support trans rights to fairness and equality right to the point they erode women's rights to fairness and equality. The two are not incompatible.